Almost every day, I come across different situations when people do their best to help animals that suffer. They cannot pass by these poor things. And of course, they do a very important job, because sometimes animals can't live without this help. Here are 10 more cases of human kindness to animals in trouble. Let's go! If an elephant falls in a pit, it's almost impossible for him to get out. People in Botswana know about this unpleasant thing and try to come to the rescue of these beautiful giants. This time, rescuers found an adult elephant lying helplessly in the hole in the dry ground. They didn't know how long he had been there. The elephant was very tired and aggressive. The people hurry to give the poor animal some water because he was obviously thirsty. The only way to take him out was to make the narrow pit wide, so they widened the walls of the pit with the help of mattocks and spades. They had to work hard and quickly because the elephant was feeling worse. The second part of the operation was to drag the animal out of the hole. Using chains, ropes, and a track, the rescuers managed to do that. It was one more happy ending. This unlucky squirrel stuck in the bird feeder. People who found the poor thing couldn't help it because the scared animal was resisting fiercely. The rescuers had to put on thick gloves to be far from the sharp teeth of the terrified squirrel. He took off the bird feeder and cut off the bars. Being released, the fluffy cutie ran away with great speed. Green sea turtles are endangered species. That's why people from different conservation societies came to the sandy beaches of the Southwest African islands to save these unique creatures. The reptiles come to these islands every year to lay eggs, but this territory is not a safe place for turtles now, as people gather coconuts there. The broken trees and coconuts are all over the place, making traps for the poor animals. The rescuers found several turtles stuck among the branches. Some of them were in very dangerous conditions. The people helped the animals to get out and took some of them to the water with their own hands. The rescue teams come to these islands regularly to do their significant job. There are a lot of stray dogs on the streets of cities and towns, and we can't call their lives easy. This dog had been living in the street until one of the tourists saw her and called the Howl of a Dog organization. Of course, people living nearby had given her some food, but the weather sometimes were rather rough with rainy days, storms, and cold winters. The pup didn't resist when rescuers took her to the veterinary clinic to check her health condition. From the plastic tag on the dog's ear, the rescuers found out that she had been checked and had lived in the streets at least for six years. In the clinic, Helen, as the rescuers called her, got all the necessary medical support. In the shelter, she got all the love and care she hadn't had during all her life. Sometimes marine animals can be driven on the shore during low tides and very often they have no chance to survive. This man found a small octopus on the shore during walking along the beach. With the plastic can, he took the helpless creature to the water and let it go. The octopus hurried to the deep waters, but suddenly came back and touched the man's feet. The animal seemed to say thank you to its rescuer. People from the Rescue Journey channel received a call from a woman whose little dog was stuck between two pipes. They found the naughty and curious pup who couldn't get out and was terribly scared. <laughs> the main purpose was not to hurt the little one. The dog was likely injured, as it was crying when the people tried to move the pipe. At last, the rescuers managed to move the pipes and took out the poor little thing. But happily, the pup was completely okay and the rescuers brought her home. In this case, the dog chased the small deer into the lake, and the scared animal was trying to swim across. But the deer wasn't strong enough, so it stopped in the middle and was about to drown. The fisherman Justin Royal rushed to help the poor animal and took it out of the water. I just rescued a baby deer. It was exhausted, and Justin came to help it just in time. The poor thing couldn't even stand on its own feet. Getting to the shore, Justin with his girl tried to dry and warm the deer up. Sometime later, the animal felt much better. The rescuers took the little one with them as they were afraid to leave it alone. The deer was too weak to walk and could become prey of a predator. Justin kept the deer in his garage for some time and when it could walk, released it into the wild. 
Foxes get stuck in fences very often. They're very curious and persistent in trying to get somewhere for food. This time, Simon Cowell from Wildlife Aid came to the call about the foxy that stuck in the net fence with its leg. When he arrived, the fox was in terrible stress trying to get out. During the rescue operation, an aggressive dog appeared and started to attack the poor fox. It took Simon some efforts to fence out the dog. When he released the fox, its leg was badly injured. He took the animal to the hospital, where doctors were trying to cure the wound. The fox had to stay in the hospital for some time, but then Simon took it to the place where he had found it earlier and let it go. The rescuers from Animal Step official organization got a call about an abandoned dog. The people noticed it in the woods near a busy road. When they came to the place, they saw the scared creature that obviously hadn't had food for several days. It took the rescuers several hours to approach the dog because it didn't trust them. At last, they could take the poor dog to the clinic. There, health checkups showed she was covered with matted fur, ticks, fleas, and skin infection. The doctors had to shave her to cure all her problems. After some medical care, she was recovering much faster. You are sure to hear that sometimes dolphins jump out on the shore. This nice fellow did the same. But lucky for him, there were people on the beach that hurried to help the poor dolphin. The man took the animal's tail and drew it to the deeper water. They were watching the dolphin for some time to make sure it swam off far away. They didn't want this marine beauty to get in trouble again. All these people are doing very essential things. They help those who are in a very tragic situation. And without their help, these stories wouldn't have such happy endings. Please help them with your likes, subscriptions, and donations. You can find the links below. And as usual, tell me what case impressed you the most. See you!